Welcome. Today, we're doing a guided meditation for the root chakra. Just would like you to get comfortable, relax, but make sure not to get too comfortable because the goal is for you not to go to sleep but for you to be in a relaxed state. The first part of this meditation is for you to release and relieve all tension throughout your body so you can then focus on the guided meditation. So we are gonna go from the top to bottom, release and tension throughout your body. Let's start at the forehead. Feel the tension in the forehead. Release that tension. Relax those muscles in the forehead. Allow your forehead to become soft and palatable. Bring your awareness to your eyelids, eyeballs, and eyebrow area. Feel the tension in that area. Allow that tension to release out of your body. Feel your eyelids and eyebrow area relax. Feel the tension in your cheeks and chin areas. Release the tension from your face. Bring your consciousness lower to your neck. Allow all the attention that you've accumulated throughout the day that has rested in your neck to leave your body. Bring your consciousness lower to your shoulders and chest areas. Release the tension. Release the tension. To your extremities, your arms, your biceps, your forearm, your hands. Release all tension and relax. Begin to relax your upper body into your chest area, your upper back, lower back areas. The tensing up of your abdomen, relax your abdomen muscles, solar plexus, relax your stomach, feel the tension from your hip area, your waist area, your groin, release the tension, and just feel your body become weightless and free. As you release the tension from your calves, the front of your calves, behind your calves, your thigh muscles, your hamstrings, release the energy from your legs, down to your feet, down to your toes, let the energy rise up out of your body and become free and loose. As you relax, as you begin this guided meditation, be sure during this guided meditation, if your thoughts begin to wander, center your thoughts with a deep breath, deep breath, and refocus your awareness to your root chakra. Begin to feel the energy that is circulating through your being. As you lay elevated above the ground, imagine that the bed, chair, or mat that you are now on 
has disappeared and there is just empty space between you and the ground. You are now floating. The energy of the ground pulls you closer to it, but you do not succumb because the energy of the heavens pull you up, creating a tug of war. And this tug of war is you. The reason that your feet are supplanted to the ground and your head sways towards the heavens explains the energy of the chakras. So take a deep breath and relax. As you sit there suspended in midair, Center your awareness to the base of your spine. Feel the Muladhara Chakra spinning. The Muladhara Chakra, or better known as the Root Chakra, is a four-petaled lotus spinning disc at the base of your spine. Bring your awareness to the chakra Visualize it, then feel the energy pulsating throughout the lower extremities of your body. Feel it. Look deep into the Muladhara Chakra. Deeper, deeper. If you look beyond the Muladhara Chakra, you will see a sleeping serpent coiled at the base of your spine. This serpent is titled Kundalini. And Kundalini is the center of your past life awareness. And as this Kundalini serpent lays unconscious sleep, it is the controller of your happiness and unhappiness in this present life. Up until now, this serpent has been unseen, unknown, unconscious to you. For if you are to awaken this Kundalini, you are now aware and conscious to your past lives. And so all of the trauma and all of the difficulties will rise to the surface and one must clear yourself of this. Now you could either choose to be unconscious and to not know and to leave the serpent sleep or you can choose to know and awaken yourself to the things that you have no knowledge of. We want these things to rise to the surface so we can clear them and have a clear view of our point of causation. As we begin to look past the serpent, we see a large elephant sitting in a lotus position named Ganesha. And Ganesha instructs us to place all of those past life obstacles, all of those past life difficulties that we were unconscious of, place them before Ganesha. All of your obstacles, all of your difficulties, place them at his feet.
and Ganesha promises to trample over, crush, and remove all of our unconscious barriers. Because once all of our unconscious blockages are removed, we are able to move forward through these chakras with a clear conscience. And as we progress through each chakra, we will fully understand the meaning, the reason of activating, clearing, and balancing each chakra. But if we do not clear ourselves of the unconscious past life traumas, then we will have the control of our happiness and unhappiness be unconscious to us. These things create problems. But truly waking up means that we no longer have problems. We only have clarity. So these are only reasons to teach and opportunities to learn from our mistakes. True clarity brings us vision of our weaknesses and true courage to allow us the ability to strengthen our weaknesses. We are now awakening ourselves to our true self. And in order to see your true self, you will have to rid yourself of the false self. And through this process, all false ideas and all false beliefs will rise to the surface. And it is important to let these things that trouble you and bother you to let them go so you can see your true self. So as your awareness is still focused at the base of your spine, after all of your unconscious obstacles are trampled over by Ganesha, you are now able to see clearly your true self. as you peer back to the lotus flower for which this journey began that sits above the water in the pound in the pond of life which is you the flower the lotus flower which is you it sits on top of the pond but it is not sitting on top of the pond the lotus flower by itself oh no there is a network of stems leaves and roots that come together to present to you a beautiful lotus and it's how long as deep as the water is is how long the plant stems are. And the plant stems go deep into the water, down, down, deep into the mud, deep into the dirt, and even deeper to feed you all the nutrients you need to blossom beautifully every morning. So as you connect to the deeper aspects of you, allow the deeper roots of your being to expand you, to grow you. There is a spiritual energy that controls your physical body. And understanding the spiritual energy and working with this energy you will naturally heal your physical body. Clearing your root chakra is a reminder 
balancing your root chakra is a reminder. Finally, activating your root chakra is a reminder that you are always connected to source. So as we close, I need you to repeat after me, whether aloud or to yourself, that I am always connected to source. 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 Repeat after me aloud or to yourself. And remember this, if you take nothing else from this video, that you are always connected to source. Repeat after me. I am always connected to source. 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 When you activate the root chakra, there's one thing you must know. And one thing you must never forget for as long as you breathe. Finally, repeat after me aloud or to yourself that you are always connected to source. I am 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 always connected to source. Peace to you. Peace to you.